Hello, dear friends. Good morning. Here we are for another morning prayer, not this very special day for the United States of America. So we are here to pray together for a most peaceful day. We, everything we can do to collaborate and to contribute to the spiritual environment all around us. Therefore, we are here to raise the vibrations of our homes and ourselves so we can contribute to today's by being a co-creator with Jesus in all realms of life. And this message this morning is from the book Happy Life by the Spirit, Joanna de Angelis, through the mediumship of Divaldo Franco. It's message 81. And <clears throat> excuse me. And then Joanna will say, Jesus said, quote, let not your hearts be troubled, unquote, teaching that serenity and trust in God must be the motto of all who desire happiness. There's never a shortage of reasons to worry, which unsettles one's heart and life. Human existence is a chance to appreciate eternal values and inner enlightenment. If you trust God with your life and with all your worries, everything will unfold naturally. Should a problem arise, serenity will take control and settle the matter properly. Therefore, do, ne do not let your heart or mind be troubled by misfortune. Do not let your hearts and, and minds be troubled. And so today we're going to pray so we can trust in God all our worries in our life. Soothing our hearts and minds with the balm of prayer. Dear friends, have your water with you so that you can drink all throughout the day. Throughout the night if you're watching me later during the day, we're going to air this in the morning. Close your eyes if safe for you to do so and repeat the words of the prayer in your mind. Shall we? Let us take a few moments to take a couple of deep breaths in. Deep breath out. Settling ourselves in the chairs we're sitting, feeling the love and presence of our garden angels with us. This morning, dear God, we pray to you, thanking you for the blessings that we have, thanking you for the opportunity of being alive in this reincarnation, thanking you for one more day where we are able to serve one another, to learn from you, and to be of service to the good spirits all around us. Today, dear God, we pray that we can feel the love and kindness that emanates from you and embeds the entire creation. Let us feel the love and the grace that God bestows upon all creatures. And let us feel the tranquility, the serenity we need today. Dear God, we pray for all of us. We pray for this beautiful country of ours. We pray that the good spirits can travel to our homes, spreading a love, harmonizing everything and everyone. We pray that the good spirits can be with us throughout the day, inspiring us with good deeds and thoughts so that we can co-create calmness, tranquility and peace with you and for all that are around us. Today, dear God, we pray that your love 
can permeate and enter the hearts of all who suffer on the earth. We pray that those who suffer, who are in despair, who are so in discord, that they can feel the love that comes from you, that their hearts can be filled with love, that their sorrows can be lessened, and that your hope and your consolation can reach each and every one of them. Today we pray, dear God, for the leaders of this country. We pray for Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. We pray for the new president and the vice president so that they can guide us towards progress, that the good spirits can be with them in the White House, inspiring them, allowing them to feel that the duties of the office are not more than a temporary assignment so they can make good to all of the people. Today, dear God, we pray that the good spirits from the higher realms can travel and populate the streets of Washington, D.C., bringing tranquility, serenity to all who attend the ceremonies and all of those who are around the area. We also pray, dear God, that each and every capital of the United States of America and all of its states that the good spirits can be with us, with each and every one of us, soothing our sorrows, quenching our pain, allowing us to feel that with you we are one, that we are here to serve one another, that ultimately we are here to love and care for everyone and each one of us. Dear God, we pray for peace. We pray for calm. We pray for nonviolent acts everywhere around the world. And we pray that united we can be spreading the good news of Jesus and also applying those teachings to our daily lives. Please inspire us today to co-create with you in goodness, serving each and every being that comes our way. We ask you for your protection today. We ask you for your inspiration. And with your permission, we end our prayer this morning. So be it. Dear friends, I hope this message of Joanna allow us to be reminded not to let our hearts be troubled. Let us be a beacon of light wherever we go inspired by our good spirits, our mentors that are always with us, to co-create in goodness, sowing peace and love wherever we go. Therefore, dear friends, my wish for you is for calm, for peace, for tranquility and serenity today. And until I can see you another time for another prayer, God willing, I wish you many, many blessings. Stay well. Stay safe. Have a great day.